The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Woo! You guys must be wondering why I'm wet. I think I want to start the video over, but we're going to keep it running. Yeah, you guys might be wondering why I am um, hydrated. Let's do it again! <laughs> Woo! You guys might be wondering why... Yo, screw it! Why I'm wet? Oh my god, why does that sound so wrong? Is it because... We're in Jamaica! <laughs> Alright, yo, we don't care. Yo, anyway, if you guys never checked out the video before, you might have seen where we were in the river. You know, we chilled, great vibe. We had some awesome food from the chef. But you don't know, the chef says he's been watching some of my videos as well And he said that, yo, I mean, like the things that we are doing So today, you don't know, we are going to be cooking up some brown stew lionfish Yo, shout out to my boy Raj of Spirit Fish in Jamaica Who had given me some lionfish So we're going to cook that up today We're going to probably try to find a really nice little rock So we can handle that You know, catch some scenery and some vibe You don't know, Tiffany Silver is in the background She's about to dive off into the water And thing and thing, yeah, I mean, it's okay if she says that she's um yeah. But anyway, <laughs> let's do it. Woo! I didn't see nothing. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have my goggles. Tiff said she saw some aquatic creatures down there, so I'm gonna go check for myself and the see. The, the current? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <It's laughs> <Canadian. laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need's right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Oh, watch me Even the rock formation. Man, this is amazing, man. Wow. Alright, so. <laughs> nah, go ahead, that's so tall. You have to look mad. Look mad. Woo! <laughs> Woo! It feels so good. <laughs> Okay, star, you know you're there. You know what I love this guy, I love the massage thing and spa. <laughs> but we are going and enjoy it the same way, you see me? Right here, the middle of the 
you feel? Feel good. Feel good. Oh God. Oh, Woo! Oh, 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 Just like Portland, uh, very bipolar weather. So sometimes it's shining, sometimes it's you know overcast. But I kid you not, just listening to the waters, feeling the coolness of it. I just do not want to leave the Enzio. found like a, a calm pool so let's go do a little bit of river exploration and see what we can find it doesn't look like they're good good like you should I made it yeah the river I mean it's more of the same but we have to try and see if we can go a little bit further yeah. it would be very nice if we can find a pool because they say crayfish in here and I don't think the crayfish are going to be at the very rough parts definitely not alright guys so it's not exactly what we're looking for um, but probably later on we can have Shane show us you know probably a better pool you know because we'd love to catch some crayfish while we are here aka Janga so we're going to go and relax a little bit and then we'll head back up to our smaller little pool there and take a look at this, you don't know.
turkey, scotch bonnet pepper, Yeah, I'll go. See a lionfish. This thing has been seasoned for a minute, um, cleaned, already washed and everything, so we're going to drop it in the fire. <laughs> oh, how you met that? Uh, uh, you're jumping there? Oh, you're jumping. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again! Get back to the earth. I'm feeding the fishes. Yep. <laughs> so does do that like a slide? Yes. Your slide come down. Yes. Oh, she, she has a good job. Slide come dog! Yo! Yo, she jumped off of that water! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, That one! <laughs> Yo, sick! Sick! The lion fish is a fight, a beer bubble is a pop for me. So I make sure the underbelly get a little, you know? Yeah. So I make sure the underbelly get a little fry up. Yo, them girls they are happy time of their life. Do 
can't really control the flame here. Yeah. You have to get ready to catch the bunnings in a tip it. You hear that? <laughs> I'm gonna move flask so I'm plant them I'll go burn up in it. <laughs> right. Peter? Can I tell you man? Go draft. Fire side to what? No, sir! No, sir! How can I put that? Fire side out! I tell you, man! Fire to what, man? You've done everything, man! Okay. So, I can't turn on the stove Literally then. Seconds. Literally seconds. Literally seconds. So, I'm going to take it off for the fire, make the rock them go and cook it, you know? Enjoy life, you know. Right now, you can't tell them nothing, they live to the fullest. Right now, you can't tell them nothing, they live to the fullest. <laughs> but you know, that my love about camping, you know, Tiff. That my like about camping. You have to use your brain. You have to use your brain, because if you don't use your brain, you get knocked. You realize there's no whirlpool we are cooking for. Not using a whirlpool stove. You realize you start making a mistake, you have to save it right there and then. Alright, so. Little coconut oil. <laughs> if you have some seeds in which you cut up, throw them on there. <laughs> we don't have any tomato. Chef, they never really have any up there because they don't really use it in a certain dish so we're just using what we have for this brown stew yeah? we never had any brown browning as well so we just made some with some sugar so that's the vibe quick like a saute so have some garlic a garlic oil. Bam. Don't play with it. Take out the oil. Bam. Essence. Keep on moving this. Crush up the garlic then. So in this we have um, onions, sweet, pepper, we have some garlic now, a little bit of ginger, thyme of course, some scotch bonnet pepper and thing. Look at our water. Look how we're browning. We have a bit of the amount that we realize we need. But one more should do it. Or so. No 
know some people also use ketchup. I really wish we had tomato, you know, man. No tomato, sure. Add in the salt. What can I, what can't you do? <laughs> 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 we have little um, pimento and um, whole cloves. Drop some in there, so. And chef savory, because we needed a little bit of the spice. Yeah, so and the tomato paste here. Yeah, the tomato paste. 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 Yeah, the tomato But enough people out the back in the day and they might cook a bush. Never have enough of them luxuries here, so we're not complaining, right? Bam. So they come on. Bam. Add a pinch of complete seasoning. And some real anchor butter. Bam. Add a little bit of water now. I see through the stove. On oh, cook pan feed time. No, all right. See it. Oh lord. Let me taste it, please. You want to taste it? I know, bomb. Hot enough. Hot enough. Are you seasoning them, Master? Chop up your onions, them, man. Nice. Good. All right. So we have the fatty creature here. Place her in there nicely. The car bubbling. Bubble we are bubble. Bubble we are bubble. And we're not getting no trouble. <laughs> yeah, watch your pots. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> yeah. So my dad passed away recently and I remember um, he used to do a bunch of outdoor cooking and um, I remember one evening when we never had any browning this is exactly what he did and that's how we got browning. Um, one thing about it is that it will give you a kind of a, a burnt aftertaste because you are burning the sugar but um, if you have no other means or no other options heading to the store you don't know doing it that way is definitely going to give you um, some form of character some persons might you know like that characteristic of it. Um, but anyway, our dish is basically done. We'll just go plates together. We're going to add some crackers to it because we don't really want to know a side dish. And um, some plantains. And the plantains are going to help with that little bitterish aftertaste. And um, yeah, it should be a complete vibe. And oh yeah, Tiffy had some uh, fruits. 
cut up over there so there's gonna be a nice little natural dessert where we kick back by this river and just and yeah, me and I'm off all light, you know. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> cha cha. Watch your style, huh? Done, we're done, man. I drop it right there, so I go to see, see me? Drop the fish, so. Don't know anything, me. Alright, so nice and easy to cook it, so we have to go get the crackers and, you know. One thing you need to learn from my father was always set your hand on fashion. Mm -hmm. So even if you don't have the money, you make the thing look super official. You don't have to reach enough to live a rich life. Eh? You have to live a plant and then. I know. We have a little plate. You can serve yourself. Fruits looking great over there. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. I'm about to preach up yourself you now because I'm not really a. Uh, I call it. I'm going to eat aquatic creatures like that so you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are we doing? So good. It's good? Mm-hmm. How about I tell the lion? No, man. <laughs> Jesus! Lionfish is really amazing, eh? I got very good on it. Fleshy. Fleshy. Whole flavor. And when you flavor it yourself, oh god. So good. Okay. Vibes. No, my thing already. I have to go share food, no? Huh? You can pass a spoon there, eh? one spoon behind me if you see them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I make it brown in from scratch, you know, so tell me what you think, see? Vibes. Alright, so we cooked a fantastic meal, um, completed the dish, shared some, so for me, that's a great day. Now, on to some fruits. <laughs> Why for the, for him? <laughs> <laughs> for the exact same thing. Okay, nice. Oh, like to say, cut up some. All right, my lovely people, we are going to get the beach area cleaned up again, take a nice little shower, 
and then later on we're gonna take out some dinner on the dinner menu today we actually have some mackerel rundown it looks very very authentic we also have some pumpkin stew and we're gonna have some boiled food with that yo i cannot wait to try some authentic mackerel rundown and the vibe what i see the chef do i definitely gonna try that whenever i do my mackerel rundown from this point on like i've been saying in these videos you know coming here it is a cultural form of educating yourself because you know the rundown that i get accustomed to you know i never got the chance to really be around my grandmother and see her making it from scratch or whatever the case is so i probably been doing a modern day rundown but you know we're gonna do it from coconut milk one day do it from scratch make that custard farm mm. <laughs> you guys could definitely see that anyway guys i'll catch you guys on another video remember these three things love nature and adaptation and always remember to keep the link